Through the media. So, without further ado, what is the next topic out there today? Well, during the pandemic, uh, or sorry, let me start that over because we're still in it, buddy. Due to the pandemic, SNL did a few remotely produced shows at the end of last season. However, for this Saturday show, the cast the crew and a live studio audience will be back in studio 8h however tickets to the show's dress rehearsal and live show come with a long list of health stipulations for starters all ticketed guests will be required to take a mandatory COVID 19 test upon arrival according to the snl ticket site this is a self-administered lower nasal antigen test with results yielded before the show the instruction reads in addition to that test temperature checks will also be required at check-in and approved masks will be required at all times well inside 30 rockefeller plaza well, feels like a lot of work to me yeah i i get why the show has to still happen i get cast and crew i know we're easing back into what regulations for stuff can look like personally some of it's outside of my comfort zone but i get that it needs to happen isn't jim carrey the the gonna be the first host in the the, the next show that's about to, to come out yeah i know they have him in to do biden so that would make yeah. sense i think that i think is that i wonder if that's the if that's just a biden thing or if that's a him hosting thing i gotta look that up again but as far as like the um how they're gonna handle and whatnot i'm i'm one well i mean uh, is it that situation where like like the sports uh, teams where they're using those COVID tests uh, that are like super fast results and, mm -hmm. and things like that i'm i'm assuming so are, are we gonna are we gonna go back to uh so are we gonna still social distance are we still gonna i mean that's what i'm, I'm, I'm curious about all these things like what's what's gonna happen um i just feel like having the audience in feels like such a complicated extra layer yeah. and such a big risk right the, you know then like actors and crew where it's like you can really like know who you're dealing with i just feel like i i know it's not ideal but it's like I really feel like just having someone on the laugh track button would be like we understand i've watched uh, you know we've all been watching late night shows and stuff we're using those fake laughs audience. from uh we've all been watching I don't understand the rush and the need to get audiences back in the room. It just feels like such an extra layer of work and expense and risk. Again, I, I don't begrudge them trying to get the show back, but hearing all that, it just feels like, why? Are, why? I, I don't, I wouldn't care if I was watching SNL with a laugh track. Like, I'd right. still tune in to see how it was. Um, The Weekend Update is the one that works even in the pandemic it still makes sense so i wouldn't be upset if for a while if it was just uh mostly the weekend update and then they can i mean i i, I mean the weekend update takes in a takes up a good chunk but i don't know an hour and a half of the weekend update i guess that would yeah make sense. i mean that's that, that would be much. bad honestly i actually did and i understand why they're going back to in studio because it is a really different show mm -hmm. i gave them a lot of I, I give them a lot of credit for the work they did at the end of last season mm -hmm just sort of transitioning and doing everything for like the editors did an amazing job yeah. of making that work and in a weird way i do think some of the talent really got to shine like you definitely could see who was good and who wasn't right because like, the people who were just funny like still totally shined and the people there were definitely some people where it's like oh without without like being on audience. set with the <laughs> audience with the wigs with everyone else around you this is like falling a little flatter so i didn't hate it I, you know, I'm curious to see what they do. I think um, the one person who stands out to me the most, I don't know if he's the one that, or one of the ones that you were thinking about that did a, a decent job from home. Uh, I think Pete Davidson really, like, after, at first I was like, oh, this feels so, uh, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I could just be watching this on YouTube or, or whatnot. I feel like this is just a, it looks like a low, you can tell that everybody's working from home kind of a thing. But then, yeah when he started putting bringing his mom more into it i'm still living with her. that it was like dude this guy this is it I, I love this bit how he's like i'm living with my mom again and and he just kept you yeah. know uh working that joke in and whatnot so i was like this this feels like that could be its own um like a little cha a channel or, or thing or whatever not not saying that that could be yeah. um um i don't know if he's already doing that or not but 
that bit or at least that sketch when when it got to Pete Davidson, I was like that that works because it, it it he kind of captured more of how we were kind of feeling when it was like really getting depressing and stuff. Uh, he he was capturing that um, uh, really well, but yeah, for the most part, for the most part, they all did a, 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 as good as they could. Yeah, it was but, admirable. Um, but but you were right. Some were like, ugh, ugh you, <laughs> this isn't gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna tune in for this. But uh, guys, let us know what you guys thought about uh, or think about the the upcoming season. Uh, how it is gonna be uh, moving forward. What do you expect? Like, do you think? Um, are they going to still do the whole social distancing? I predict that they're probably going to have a couple of sketches where they're going to joke about social distancing and, and then do actually be so, uh, socially distancing and staying and trying to stay safe um, in, in reality. So I think I think it'll it'll work out. Um, we'll we'll adjust. We'll we'll get used to it as things progress. Well, it'll be fine. But I guess let us know what you guys think and we'll talk about it on We Got Your Mail. If you like what you saw, make sure to subscribe to the channel and please drop a like on this video. It really does help us. Also, don't forget you can turn on notifications so you don't miss a single review, react, why is that trending, or we got your mail.